Hey there, it's Chad. In version two of the Retro LED and Shiplap library, there's some really cool new features I wanna show you quick. The one being the adjustable shelves are now on a one-click custom parameter. In the other category, change that to yes, and all the adjustable shelves will have your light grooves. In version two, there's gonna be four more new parameters. So we have these LED BB side setback which is the bus bar setback the hayfield system and that's on the sides and then the bus bar dado width bus bar dado depth instead of buying a special bit you can now do a two-step dado if you look at this here that's what that data would look like in the new library so let's take a look at the library inserts retro led and ship lap v2 and now in the new library just like before you have the ff all the face frame items, bases, tall cabinet operations, wall cabinet operations. It's very simple. The FLs are the frameless ones. So just go into this and just go right to your frameless or face frame, go to your bases, whatever you're working on, talls. And from there, you're gonna layer it down to just a few different operations that you can choose from. So here's the bus bars, tall Hefala wall, Hefala bus bars. These are all new in version two. And what these are is a, it's a two-part operation. You're gonna see two different grooves basically to get that, that right fit. And you can tweak those with the parameters. So you can see here, I have no light at the top here. Let's add that real quick just to show you how it works. Double click on the center. What we'll do is go to the interior, click that space, go to inserts, go to your library. And now I'm a frameless cabinet. The closets are a frameless cabinet. For this kind of cabinet, I'm just going to a top. So I'm going to frameless LED top. And you can see there is an operation. So grab that and pull it up into the space. And there it is. Setbacks for shelves are all separate from like the tops. You can use this LED top insert for fixed shelves. Let's just say I have an adjustable depth to say it's 13 millimeter. So you can see here on my adjustable shelves all move back. And now these don't line up, the bus bars. Well, that's not a problem. We just go into our new shelf setback. What we'll do, we'll subtract 13. And now you can see that got back to center there again. And real quickly, I'll show you, if you go into your libraries, go to parameters, go to other. These are gonna be your 10 parameters you need to make this function. And there's one custom parameter, that's this LED shelf, yes. This custom parameter, you'll need to import. You'll need to go into your Mosaic shared files, go to your data folder, go down to your standard construction folder, and then just copy and paste it into here. It'll be this LED adjustable shelf custom parameter, CP file. And you're gonna go into this custom parameters down here and go to import. And that's where you can go into your Mosaic shared files, data, and then import that custom parameter. So let's turn this on and off again one more time just to see how uh, slick this is. Off, there goes all the adjustable shelves. On, or yes. You can manually go into a cabinet and grab that parameter right there. And now I can turn it off just for this cabinet. Shelves are off, shelves are back on. And just like before, you can go into your library's shapes. You'll still get this with the download. Get the retro LED parts. And this here, you'll have individual parts that you can override at the shape level. And so if you don't want to use the custom parameters, you can just grab this part and it'll bring in the custom parameter shelf. Thanks for watching.